Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, this time against Lewis, and we're having an Inu tier match. And honestly guys, this battle was pretty bizarre. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a battle quite like this one. Um, and you guys will see what I mean once the battle starts, but looking at Lewis's team, and we're having an Inu tier match by the way. Looking at Lewis's team, he's got the Elite Vanny, the Electivire, the Metacham, Meloetta, which I, I don't know how the hell this thing is in you. This thing is a god. Um, he has the Pyroar, which could be a problem if it's Specs or Life Orb. And then he has literally Verlicify the Pokemon. So, look at my team. I've got the Drudagon, Miss Magius. We've got the Garbodor, Slowking, Sneasel, and the Verizion. So, like I said, this battle was pretty interesting. Also, guys, it is currently the 4th of July as I'm recording this. I know this video is going to be a day late. But um, let me know in the comment section what you guys did uh, for the 4th of July. I really didn't do anything. I just sat in my room and recorded this video. So um, you'll probably hear some fireworks going off in the background. I'm sorry for that. I can't really help that. But anyway, this battle was really interesting. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with Legos the Drudagon as my opponent is going to lead off with Peridot, or at least I think that's how you say that, the uh, the Lee Vanny here. So I was expecting the Sticky Web right off the bat. He actually whips out the Magic Coat. Um, he told me he was thinking that I was going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I actually do have Stealth Rocks, but I wanted to get this thing paralyzed so that he would have that 30% chance to not be able to set up his uh, Sticky Webs or whatever. So he's actually going to bounce that back, and I'm going to paralyze myself, which really sucks. So now he's going to be able to get up the sticky webs no problem, and unfortunately this team does not have a defogger or rapid spinner, which really sucks. I really should put one <laughs> on this team. Um, but anyway, I just go for the fire punch there, and uh, he goes for the knockoff, guys. And for whatever reason, it doesn't knock off my item. I'm not sure why. Um, does rough skin like prevent that or something? Um... Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but he's going to kill himself to his own recoil here. And that is a reoccurring theme in this battle, as you'll see. Um, so he's going to go for the fake out here. And uh, he's going to take my rough skin, and then he's going to take the rocky helmet here. Um, yeah, so there's the rocky helmet. I guess, does rough skin keep your item? I, I don't know how that works, but anyway, apparently I got to keep my item. Um... But he's also Life Orb, so he just took half of his health, guys. Or almost half of his health in just recoil damage alone. So he goes for the Ice Shard there. I actually live that because I'm max HP, max defense. And uh, I get fully paralyzed here. But holy shit, dude. Literally all of this thing's damage. <laughs> I haven't even touched this thing. And all of his damage is just sheer recoil. <laughs> it's, just, it's honestly insane. So he's going to kill me off with another uh, attack here. Legos is gonna go down, but Legos fucking killed two of his mons without doing fucking anything. Like, the only damage I've gotten off on this guy was that fire punch on Lee Vanny. But he killed two of his mons to recoil. That is fucking insane. So, he's gonna bring out the Electivire here as I bring in my Slowking, which is obviously a terrible situation for me. So, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. And, uh, I'm gonna bring out Hayden Vids. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hayden. And if anybody... <laughs> if anybody is questioning this, Hayden's my boy. He's a friend of mine. We we love to uh, give each other shit, so I don't need any hate in the comment section for that. But anyway, so I bring out Garbodor here. He also has the Rocky Helmet here, and uh, he goes for the Wild Charge. He's going to take Life Orb Recoil, Wild Charge Recoil, and the fucking Rocky Helmet. And here on the second Wild Charge, he's going to take all of that plus Aftermath. So guys, literally three of this clown's mons are gonna die to fucking recoil. That is fucking insane. I have never seen that happen before. Half of his team is just gone from passive damage. I don't even have entry hazards up. That is one of the weirdest, this is one of the weirdest battles I think I've ever fucking had. <laughs> but anyway, he's going to bring out the Pyroar now as I bring in my Miss Magius. I'm going to get the hell out of here because I know he's probably packing the Dark Pulse. And uh, I was honestly afraid of this thing being Specs. But um, I'm going to go ahead and switch into my boy Slowking here. And I, I do that. I know that Dark Pulse is super effective, but I am Assault Vested. And Slowking is actually surprisingly bulky. Plus, I do have the Regenerator. And uh, you'll see here I do actually... 
uh, take the Dark Pulses relatively well. It is a three-hit KO after all. And uh, even even this Pyroar is is life orbed. It's fucking crazy, dude. So I try to go for the I try to go for the Future Sight there, but he actually flinches me with the Dark Pulse. So I'm gonna have to switch in here because. He's going to kill me with another Dark Pulse, so I bring in Verizion predicting that. Thank God he didn't go for Fire Blast. Um, I'm going to get the useless Justified boost. But I did that because I needed to get the Regenerator back on my Slowking just to get some health back. So I might actually leave my Verizion in here to die because it was honestly one of the most useless mons on my team at this point in the battle. So I'm going to go ahead and sack off Verizion, unfortunately. But <laughs> look how much damage he's already taken from his Life Orb. He's already almost at half. <laughs> this battle was just weird, but uh, I'm gonna bring back out Sloking here because I know I can take another Dark Pulse barring a crit um, So he does Dark Pulse me and thank God he does not flinch me here <laughs> I would have been so just absolutely fucking livid had he flinched me there But I do go ahead and get the Scald off and that is going to go ahead and kill off the Pyroar now So thank God that thing's gone. That was the biggest threat on his team <laughs> So now he's going to bring out this Verlicify looking motherfucker here. And I'm going to switch out here because uh, once again I want some more uh, HP. So I'm going to swap out, get the Regenerator boost. I'm going to bring out my boy Spanky. And unfortunately here Spanky, uh, being in the sticky web really sucks for Sneasel obviously. Sneasel's relatively fast and being slowed down really really sucks for it. So he's going to pop the Z Crystal and go for the Continental Crush here. Spanky is not going to like this very much, unfortunately, so he's going to throw the fucking mountain at me. <laughs> the pioneer used to ride these babies for miles! But, uh, yeah, Spanky is going to get fucking annihilated here. <laughs> that was honestly fucking overkill, holy shit. But, um, yeah, it's just what I had to do, so I'm going to bring back out David here. <laughs> Sensational GP. And, uh... Obviously, the uh, Sticky Webs doesn't matter too much because <laughs> Sloking is slow as shit. I mean, hell, it's in his name. Um, so he's going to go for the Stone Edge. Thank God he didn't crit me. It does have a high crit chance. I'm going to go for the Scald here. I was thinking that Scald was going to kill, but damn it, it doesn't kill. So he lives on like 10 HP, which really sucks because now I'm going to lose my damn Sloking. And this, <laughs> this really sucks for me, so... I'm gonna bring out Miss Maggie here. I do outspeed. I'm an, I'm obviously not affected by the uh, sticky webs here because I am levitating. Miss Maggie this is my last mon, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill off his uh, his Lichen Rock Midnight Form or whatever. And uh, his last mon is actually the Meloetta here. And unfortunately, Meloetta is part normal type, so I'm unable to go for my my uh, my Z uh, Shadow Ball or whatever. Oh, fuck, what is it called? Never Ending Nightmare, Jesus. I couldn't think of the name. But uh, I misplay there. I actually thought he might try to set up Call Mines. So I went for Taunt there. He just, he's just going to hit me with a Shadow Ball. And the best thing I got to hit this thing is Mystical Fire. And it does like no damage, but it lowers his special attack. But he lowered my special, de ah, he lowered my special defense with the first shadow ball so it was basically a neutral hit and he's gonna kill me off with another one so that was a really bizarre match <laughs> like half of his team just died because he attacked me that was just that's so weird but anyway guys this is a fun match and uh again let me know what type of battles you guys want in the future and uh, i'll try to pump out some of that content and uh, i'm gonna get out of here guys i love you peace out